All right, we're still talking about estimating sums and differences. Let's do a couple examples with differences, with subtracting fractions. So our first problem is going to be 1 half minus 1 third. 1 half minus 1 third. Well, 1 half is already one of our benchmarks. It's already a half, so I'm going to keep it at a half. Now I'm going to think about 1 third. Is 1 third closer to... One half or to one to zero. So here's my half line. One third is closer to one half than it is to zero. So we're going to round that one third to a half. So now I can easily do this problem. One half minus one half equals zero. So one half minus a third is going to be about zero, close to zero about zero. Let's try another example. I have one and five six minus one and three eighths. So I have some mixed numbers here. And remember when we're dealing with mixed numbers, first we're going to just look at the fraction and see what we can round that to and then we'll rewrite it as a mixed number again. So five six when I compare my numerator and denominator, 5 is right next to 6. So I can round this fraction to 1. So I have 1 already. So 1 plus 1, that's 2. So this whole 1 and 5, 6 can be rounded to 2. Now, let's take a look at 3 eighths. 3 eighths. When I compare my numerator and denominator, 3 is pretty close to half of 8. If I look at my number line, here's 3 eighths. It's definitely closer to half than it is to zero. So I'm going to round that part to one half. Then I'm going to have, so three eighths, we can round that to our benchmark of one half. We have our one already, so one and a half plus one half, that is one and a half. So one and three eighths, we can round that to one and a half. Now my new problem, 2 minus 1 and a half. Okay, so 2 take away 1 and a half. Sometimes it's helpful to think dollars, two dollars take away a dollar fifty is a dollar and a half. But I can do 2 take away 1. That gives me 1. And then I have that 1. I'm taking half of it away. So it equals 1 half. So 1 and 5 six minus 1 and 3 eighths is about about one half. All right, so you're going to try those problems on your own today on the CAMI pages.